So I just finished today my homemade Steadicam. I've been borrowing ideas from people out on YouTube and made a few prototypes. This is the first one that works halfway decent. Um, components, first off, WS Clater. Uh, everybody on YouTube that's looking to build a homemade Steadicam knows of this guy. He came up with the idea of using this uh, Traxxas Universal joint as the gimbal. Uh, the frame, I've seen a lot of different things used. In this case, I'm using electrical conduit. Pretty easy, very cheap. Uh, very durable. I just shoved a few screws and washers and counterweights on the back to get good balance. I'm using some PVC tube for the handle along with some ball bearings. Uh, key component which I stole from uh, the Frugal Filmmaker, thank you Frugal Filmmaker, is this macro slider rail which really made the process of balancing easy. Like I said I went through three or four prototypes, couldn't get them to balance correctly. As soon as I threw the macro slider rail on it really made the balancing process easy. You can move the, the camera forward and backward, mount it in any number of ways. Um, it eliminates the guesswork out of building your frame. I'm also using a quick release shoe of Velbon QRA3. Uh, you don't need to do this, it's just nice to not have to always be screwing the camera in and out. You want to touch the Steadicam as little as possible to keep it in balance because it is kind of a pain to get into balance. Uh, the camera in this case is a Contour Roam, but this rig will work with pretty much any relatively lightweight camera. So I'll give you an example of some of the footage here in a second, but you can see even in my bathroom it's uh, really, really steady. Yeah, I'll pay for that. 